Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to see how to add support for Google AdSense to our Blazor applications. Before continuing with this, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you are notified when there are new videos uploaded to the channel. Uh, let us know anything you would like to learn about .NET Core, Azure, and Unity 3D. Let's just start. So, as you may have seen, here I have a sample website, which is under blazer.ptiCostarica.com, and it actually has all the links to the um, to the Blazor course that it's on my YouTube playlist. You can access it from here. I'll need to modify a little bit the UI to enhance it and so it looks much better. Um, but this one has the example of the Google Ads as you may see in here. So what do we do? Basically what we do is creating a Blazor component or a Razor component for Blazor where we are going to have our AdSense code. However, if you have ever worked with AdSense, you know that the way to add AdSense to our project is either through the global uh, add code, code script to the index HTML. But if we do that in the case of Blazor, um, it will not upload. It will not update the um, the ads when we change the pages because it doesn't reload the whole page or the scripts sections, and it only uploads the items that were actually changed. It only updates the items that were actually changed. So you will end up with the same ad in all of the pages. So an approach I went for for this demo is actually doing a trick. I converted the nav link to just a simple link, then implemented the on click to do nav manager dot, dot navigate to. I set the link to where we want to go and I set the force reload flag to true. So when I hit a link, the whole page is actually reload. So the whole code of the script is actually re-executed again. And also I wanted to have the code inside the body or inside the components. So you will see that here basically where we are going is to a road video and here we pass the video ID for the video to which we are going to see. Here you see that on my pages I have this video page already implemented and you will see that I have two divs. There is one with the iframe which contains the video URL as a parameter and then there is the other one with a a component named ads component. This ads component is basically the Razor component which has the implementation of our Google AdSense code. So you will see that in the ads component we will have this use of ads in here and this ads is basically a render fragment which returns the uh, scripts that we need for Google Ads. And so you know that we need to add a script, we need to add a sync attribute, we need to add the source, uh, we need to add, well, we need to close the element, we need to add the ins um, element, we need to add the class, the style, data add client, and data add the slot. These values can actually be parameterized in the components, so you make this a little bit dynamic instead of just having the values hard coded. 
and then you close the element and basically every time that you load the page and the component is reloaded this will re-execute or reinsert this uh, it will reload the form or create a new form in the new HTML and all of the script will be uh, loaded now one of the caveats that you will see with this approach by forcing the reload is that the whole page is going to be reloaded. So you see that if I go to part two, the whole page is going to be reloaded. And that doesn't really look like the best, but you will see that the actual ad is being, um, is changing. So you will see this one says Bridgestone and this one says that's in Spanish Cada Paso Cuenta If I go to another page it's again Bridgestone This one is Tools, I believe it's the way you pronounce that, I don't know This one is PayPal So you see that all of that is uh, that changes so that's a simple way to implement Google um, support for Google AdSense in your Blazor applications and being able to load a different ad or reload the whole script when you change your pages. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you are notified when there are new videos uploaded. Share the channel so more people um, get subscribed and I can keep making more videos for you. Thank you very much and have a great day.